from Game & Watch. Yeah. I'm like, really excited because I just recently met I'm Hip and he's such a great all of Mar. His plays have been amazing yeah. lately, so I'm really excited to see this matchup. Yeah, and uh, Paper, of course, is a kind of a legacy pick for the, the Game & Watches. I mean, I remember seeing talk, uh, people talking about Paper and hyping him up as a player going back all the way into the Brawl era of Smash. So oh we're talking we're talking the Dark Ages here. Of, uh, yeah, of a lot anything. of changes have been made since right. then, right? And so we're going into our battle right now. This is I'm Hip going against Paper, right? Yeah. And they're opening up on Battlefield. And one of the key things that we're going to be looking at, I'm Hip, of course, uh, the favorite coming into the match. He's been kind of the regular winner in and out of Wednesday Night Fights. It kind of seems like, like clockwork. I'm Hip's going to be one of the top spots. Kind of been in a little bit of a, a slump as of late as far as, you know, not winning necessarily, but still one of the favorites to take top spots. Of course, there's all kinds of other celebrities in the building. So we'll see how he fares. But I'm Hip, one of the, uh, you know, the, the stalwarts of the uh, community. And it, with good reason, too. Look, he's coming in really strong right now. Olimar putting on a strong 73% yeah. already in the first minute of the match. It's going to be interesting how Paper's able to, you know, I think the key to finding against Olimar that you're going to look for is how does the character deal with Pikmin? You see right there, he tried to narrow off a Pikmin. You saw the aquarium come out. And then I'm hit. Expecting that, he just went in for an up smash, and all of a sudden he has a stock lead. Oh, crazy. So already the first stock has been taken off of paper, and I Am Hip is going back in there, trying to throw the, all all the Pikmin on there, trying to get as much damage as he can. Right, and Pikmin already, or, uh, you know, paper already in kind of red alert mode. He's falling behind by quite a bit early here in game one. It's going to be, you know, especially against Almar, deficits are hard to, hard to overcome. Oh, yeah, neutral is everything in this game. Look at him trying to pull up those up airs on him, and... Battlefield is really good in that because you get the huge advantage being underneath while someone's on the platforms there. And he's got a white on him. Oh, he fires out. Oh, and it looks like he cleared the white Pikmin too. That's interesting to, let's keep an eye on that one. Uh, that up special called Fire, it's kind of Game & Watch's get out of jail free card. Maybe not for free, but get out of jail uh, <laughs> and see what, what, you know, roll the dice afterwards. But yeah, he's really trying to keep, oh, oh. and that spike. Wow, you pulled that one out of nowhere. What a great edge guard yeah. from paper. And we know that uh, fortune favors the Darien right there, that key coming out. Might be the key to victory. He was behind by so much, and now he's kind of, you know, he's still on the same stock. That's kind of the name of the game. You try to put yourself within striking distance and stay on the same stock. But IMIP does not care. It says blue Pikmin up throw, and we're coming into Paper's last stock here on game one. Oh, definitely, and he's going in. Oh, and wow, that up so air, up much air. damage with up airs right. all day. Almar is so strong in this game, and when he throws that purple Pikmin, that knockback is insane. He really wants to keep those in line. Yeah, Paper kind of looks like he's at a little bit of a loss on how to handle the situation. It's got to be difficult, too, because you got that new four. Oh, here we go. Got some magic. Let's get the Olimar off stage. Oh, trying to go back for the key, but that does not connect. Olimar is trying to make a comeback from underneath. He's got a dash attack in, and there's that berry mechanic. Not not quite enough. Uh, you know, Paper's got to figure out how to get I'm Hip off stage, but it's one of those. It's going to be rough. Maybe too little too late on the first game because I'm Hip's in a comfortable lead, but, you know, miracles. Miracles happen sometimes in Smash. Oh yeah, that's the really cool thing about Ultimate. Anything can happen just like that. He was able to grab number, but he did not. Yeah, Nintendo with the tease right there. He thought he had the dramatic finish, but not quite enough uh, damage to put it in. But I'm hip in firm control, even as the killer lineup. Blue, purple, whites all days. Burned that purple off. Uh, but just kind of, he's probably gonna look for a grab in some situations. Oh, he kind of baited, I think, Paper knew that, he baited it out. That fire covered the grab option and he got out of jail very oh, look, quickly. Look Lux, it's anyone's game now because we're already at kill percent at 89 yeah. and Olimar was able to finish it, right. taking the first game. Yep, game one going on, hit pretty comfortable two stock situation. Paper, although a very, very adaptable player, able to figure some stuff out. I think the key for Paper coming into the next match is he's gotta figure out how to get I'm hip off stage. I'm hip was very comfortable, could camp all day, under the platforms with whatever Pikmin that he wanted, and we're just gonna have to figure out how to get the Almar off stage, edge guard him, and try to make plays out there. Uh, but on the flip side, if you're if you're I'm hip, you just kind of okay. business as usual, just keep throwing the Pikmin, up smashing up airs, you know, until paper shows he has an answer, he might as well just shove the game plan down his throat and keep winning uh, while oh, he lets him. An interesting switch up, Lux. Look at that. He was able to switch out oh, Olimar for no. the Piranha Plant. I will be honest with you. This is my first time seeing Piranha Plant in this, what is this, top 24? Yeah, this, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This is my first time seeing Piranha Plant, period, in the sentence. Where 
Uh, this patch 2.0 has not been kind to Papa Lux. Uh, I, I forgot to get my Nintendo code, but apparently 2G Gaming did it because we got Piranha playing on the screen. And I'm his one kind of known to do this. If he gets a pretty pretty solid win game one, he'll go and kind of mix up characters before the character choice was Duck Hunt. But I think he's, you know, he's getting a Piranha Plan out, seeing if the PD can put the work in. Well, definitely, and it looks like Paper here is taking advantage of the fact that Piranha is a little bit heavy on the heavier side right. compared to Olimar, so he is having more fun juggling him um, with those up airs. Look at that. And maybe, maybe it's a little more, uh, you know, it's definitely the pilot time that I'm Hip will possibly have on this character is not as much, so probably not as familiar with all the situations. But on the flip side, you know, Paper probably not as familiar with what to do against this character either. I like you look at it, it's like, is he a heavy? Is he a light character? Uh, what kind of options are coming out? And it's it's pretty, you know. Well, we'll see, Lux. I'm so excited to see how pro players are taking Piranha Play and what direction they're pushing the meta right now because they can go any way. And he was able to take off Piranha's first stock right there with the down smash. Right, yeah, she said it could go any way, and right now it's going Paper's way for game two. And the aquarium's coming out, the up airs are coming out, almost picked them up with a fire off the top. And uh, the, the momentum train keeps on rolling, Paper in pretty firm control. Kind of a flip of the script of game one. Look at that, he's really going for the throws right now and trying to land that key, but what a great shield placed down by I'm Hip right there. Wow, <laughs> a jank option, he saw, he saw out, oh, okay. Probably got a smash attack covering that top, and he brought it back to the same stock. Yeah, I didn't know what that move is, like it extends out so far, some of the, uh, it's like very doll as a breach uh, <laughs> on it. Piranha Plant is something else. Oh yeah, he's just full of surprises. I'm actually really shocked that Piranha Plant doesn't have a tether mechanic, hmm. you know, when it, it has the stretching, the stretching moves there. I'm really surprised that it didn't, can't grab ledge that way. Yeah, I, I'm shocked that Piranha Plant is, again, period on the <laughs> sentence, that it's, you know, I, I think Sakurai is always known for like, you know, one troll character uh, per game and Piranha Plant is uh, the pick for, for this one, I'm sure. Uh, Paper, speaking of trolling, he's got that game two lead. I'm hip, I don't know, maybe regretting this pick a little bit. I don't know, it's all good. It's all fun in games right now and bracket. But when it comes to game three, right, you know, right. serious time. Perhaps they'll pull out the big guns, but I don't know. Piranha Plant is doing some pretty great edge guards there with the spike ball. Yeah, I got a big, big damage on that edge guard situation. And, Ooh, it's oh, and he tied it up right there. Right, maybe, maybe we're uh, judging a little bit too fast here, Lux. Piranha Plant's looking pretty good. It's a pretty even matchup right now. They're both on the last right. stock, right? And in the lead with 22%. Right, yeah, I'm hip building himself a little bit of a lead and uh, and maybe it was like, you know, one of those download patches for both of them. I'm hip, uh, finally figuring out exactly how to navigate this character around and make the most out of his options. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's built himself a pretty comfortable lead coming into the end of the sock. Right, all the Piranha Plan needs to do is land one more smash, one more attack at 84%. I believe that can kill Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, especially Game & Watch being so light as a character. Oh, certainly. And will that be it? Not all he needs to do is edge guard there. Trying to land back down with that key. It's a pretty smart play, trying right. to just make it back down to the ground that way. I think, yeah, Game & Watch as a character is pretty unique just in that it's, uh, most characters are very uncomfortable when their opponent's directly beneath them, but he gives Game & Watch some options in that, you know, disadvant normally disadvantage situation. I know it's, you know, going so far, but if Game & Watch gets underneath the opponent, of course, he's got all those juggle options and put in so much damage, it's virtually a tie game now. Oh, and he threw down that key. That gave me quite a scare <laughs> he there, went Lux. Deep. <laughs> Yeah, he went real deep with that, but I'm glad that he has that right. uh, trampoline to come back and recover. And it's anybody's game at this point. Um, one I'm two, hip. One yeah. ten, right? I'm hip trying to close this out before, you know, before game three. Uh, Paper, of course, you know, would love to see a game three in this situation. We might, we might have it. There it is. Oh, it's went the other way. I'm surprised. I thought that was an up smash. And look at that Piranha Plant. I'm hip was able to take the game. He judged a little bit too quickly there, Lux. Like, we thought it was a joke. He was going into game three, but... I got trolled too on the dramatic finish. I thought that, uh, I thought that was Paper's up smash that hit. But it was actually, I don't know.